Good morning. Our gathering hymn today is number, <coughs> excuse me, uh, 389, 389, Praise My Soul, the King of Heaven, verses 1 and 4. After seeing our Salatars, after seeing our Salatars, I died like you. Our gathering hymn number 389, Praise My Soul, the King of Heaven. Praise my soul, the King of Heaven, to his seat thy tribute bring. Ransom healed, restored, forgiven, evermore his praises sing.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. peace be with you. My dear brothers and sisters, good morning. To prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us acknowledge our sins. Together, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God of mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who constantly raise up in your church new examples of virtue, grant that we may follow so closely in the footsteps of the Bishop St. Alphonsus in his zeal for souls as to attain the same rewards that are his in heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. This word came to Jeremiah from the Lord. Rise up, be off to the potter's house. There I will give you my message. I went down to the potter's house, and there he was, working at the wheel. Whenever the object of clay which he was making turned out badly in his hand, he tried again, making of the clay another object of whatever sort he pleased. Then the word of the Lord came to me. Can I not do to you, house of Israel, as this potter has done, says the Lord, indeed, like clay in the hand of the potter, so are you in my hand, house of Israel. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm, blessed is he whose help is the God of Jacob. Blessed is he whose help is the God of Jacob. Praise the Lord, O my soul. I will praise the Lord all my life. I will sing praise to my God while I live. Blessed is he whose help is the God of Jacob. Put not your trust in princes, in the sons of men, in whom there is no salvation. When his spirit departs, he returns to his earth. On that day, his plans perish. Blessed is he whose help is the God of Jacob. Blessed he whose help is the God of Jacob, whose hope is in the Lord is God, who made heaven and earth, the sea and all that is in them. Blessed is he whose help is the God of Jacob. Open our hearts, O Lord, to listen to the words of your Son. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. 
A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. To you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, The kingdom of heaven is like a net thrown into the sea, which collects fish of every kind. When it is full, they haul it ashore and sit down to put what is good into the buckets. What is bad they throw away. Thus it will be at the end of the age. The angels will go and separate the wicked from the righteous and throw them into the fairy furnace where there will be wailing and grinding of teeth. Do you understand all these things? They answered, yes. And he replied, the never scribe who has been instructed in the kingdom of heaven is like the head of a household who brings from this storeroom both the new and the old. When Jesus finished this parables, he went away from there. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning. Good morning. Today is indeed a special day for all of us, and um, we welcome my dear Bishop, Bishop Jose Corazon Talaoc of the Diocese of Calibo in the Philippines to our parish. Welcome, Bishop. He will be staying here in our diocese in the next um, two weeks, and he will be um, visiting um, parishes of Father Ricci and Father Rainier, and. Um, um, he will also stay here in our parish for a few days. And truly, indeed, today in our gospel, um, the Lord continued to remind us with a very par um, special parable also that um, we had been hearing in the past how many days. Now is another parable, which is the parable of the dragnet. And Jesus continued to tell us about in our own lives, there is always a portion of it that we need to discern. Yes, truly it is, though in the kingdom of God, there is a separation of the good and the bad, but we are a Christian community. We are a community in the struggle for holiness, though there is a sort of selections, what Jesus is saying about the righteous and those who are to be thrown in the fairy furnace, but Jesus continued to remind us about the process of holiness that we become mindful about our own life. Like in our first reading, the potter's wheel of a clay continued to remind us of that continued process of being molded in our own lives as well. We pray that the coming of the kingdom would truly be a moment for us to become worthy in facing the loving Lord. The life of holiness may be a difficult one, but Jesus in his love and compassion will truly lead us towards the way in living out his will before us. The practice of the Jewish fishermen to separate their cats as a symbol of God separating the just from the unjust on Judgment Day, until that time may the church unfold in her bosom all peoples and leave the judgment to the, to the Lord. The response be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. May the church not consider as unclean what God has cleansed through Jesus' passion, death, and resurrection. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May we not prejudge people, 
by reason of their race, appearance, social and economic standing, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May the church be enriched by the diversity of our members and not consider it a, tr a threat or a source of conflict, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May the people of God bring from their storeroom the treasure of God's revelation in the Old and New Testament, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May our departed brother and sister find themselves in the next life among the righteous gathered together in God's kingdom, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For Geronima Ledesma, for whom this Mass is being offered, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the names and petitions written in our book of prayers, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Silently, we present our petition to the Lord. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, the church enfolds in her bosom both the righteous and the sinners. May all strive to encourage each other to do your will so as to merit together the joy of your kingdom. This we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Our offertory hymn is number 426. 426, Open My Eyes. Open my eyes, Lord, help me to see your face. Open my eyes, Lord, help me to see. Open my ears, Lord, help me. Brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Be pleased, O Lord, to enkindle our hearts with the celestial fire of your Spirit, just as you granted that Saint Alphonsus should celebrate these mysteries and by them offer himself to you as a holy sacrifice through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of Saint Alphonsus, 
you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in the Holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness, make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down the Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood. The blood of the new and eternal covenant will so be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and confess your resurrection unto you. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Barry our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all have died in your mercy. Walk on them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to become co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, 
and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power of Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Peace be with the Father. Agnus Dei, qui tulis peccatum bundi, miserere orbis. Agnus Dei, qui tulis peccatum bundi, miserere Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you would enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. 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 The body of Christ.
Let us pray. O God, who gave us St. Alphonsus to be a faithful steward and preacher of these great mysteries, grant that your faithful may receive it often, and receiving it, praise you without end. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We go in the peace of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us all kneel. Sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. O sacrament, most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be without end. Amen. Together, my Lord Jesus Christ, I believe that you are really here in this sacrament. Night and day, you remain here, compassionate and loving. You call, you wait for. You welcome everyone who comes to visit you. I thank you, Jesus, for coming upon the earth for our sake and for instituting the adorable sacrament of the Holy Eucharist in order to remain with us until the end of the world. I thank you for hiding beneath the Eucharistic species your infinite majesty and beauty, which your angels delight to behold, so that I might have courage to approach the throne of your mercy. I thank you, dear Jesus, 
for having become the priceless victim to merit for me the fullness of heavenly favors. Awaken in me such confidence in you that your fullness may ascend and fruitfully upon my soul. I thank you for offering yourself in thanksgiving to God for all the benefits, spiritual and temporal, which he has bestowed on me. Grant me grace, perseverance in your faithful service. Amen.